Hello everyone, my name is Craig Chamberlain with Precision Electric at precision-elect.com. Your industrial automation service center drives, motors, controls. We do it all and have done it all for 30 years. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Today's video is going to cover a pretty unique topic with the SVX drive. I noticed that a frequent question we get and an issue we run into is that commissioning wizard we just did in the previous video vanishes after you've ran it one time. So if you want to actually go back and run it again, it can get somewhat confusing to figure out how to actually get it started. So we're going to go through how to actually reset your drive to the to do use the startup wizard basically. So let's go ahead and set it up. Okay, so the parameters on the SVX9000 and the keypad for modifying the parameters does take some getting used to. But once you got it figured out, it's actually not as confusing as it looks at first glance. Essentially, when you first start up your drive, it's going to be set to your monitoring values. So if I press the right arrow keys, I can actually scroll through and see what my drive is currently doing. In order to modify a parameter, though, I got to press the left arrow key until I find this programming, press enter, and then I can press enter. You'll notice up here there's a little M1 flashing. Now this M actually correlates with the menu structure in the manual. So if I look at the manual, I can see that there's an M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, and so on for actually going through certain subsets of menus. Now here's the confusing part. When I go to a submenu, that M changes to an S. And this can be confusing when you're looking at the parameter we want to change that says our parameter is a P. So essentially our letters are going to change three times from the main menu to the actual submenu. So it can, it can be confusing at first. So essentially, I'm going to start at M5, which is my system menu. menu. So I'm going to press the up arrow key. So I'm at M2, M3, M4, M5. So I'm at the system menu now. And I'm going to press right, and that M changed into an S5. So now I'm at S5.1. If I look at my parameter I'm looking for again, it's 5.5.3. So I'm going to press up again, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, and 5.5. So now I'm at S5.5. If I press right, that S now is going to be able to be changed to my 5.5.3. But notice it's still an S. Don't worry, it will change into a P eventually. Press up for 5.5.2, and look, it just changed into a P, and 5.5.3. So that's the startup wizard parameter I'm looking for. According to my manual, 5.5.3 has two options, yes and no. Right now it's going to be set to no because I already ran my wizard. If I press right again, I can actually edit it. I'll press up to change it to yes, and then I'll press enter to confirm. Now, the next time I actually power cycle my drive, it's going to start my startup wizard. To exit out of the menu, I don't know if you noticed this, but I press the left arrow key until I essentially made it to the main menu. And then if I want to go back to the operator menu, I press the down arrow key until I reach M8, which is called operate mode instead of programming mode. And I'm going to press enter and we are back to our output frequency setting. So as you can see, the menu structure in the SVX9000 can be confusing at first. Once you've kind of gone through it a few times and actually went through the, the actual manual and seen that nice little structure that they have, that whole changing of letters becomes less intimidating and less confusing. But overall, that's how you factory reset your SVX 9000, and essentially it'll allow you to run the wizard again, and you can go in and do your commissioning again, uh, which is great if you're switching motors or maybe you're just switching your drives. Maybe you have a whole different application. So if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Again, my name is Craig Chamberlain at Precision Electric at precision-elect.com. Your industrial automation service center drives, motors, controls. We do it all. We also repair these SVX 9000 drives from the very small to the extremely large. So be sure to let us know if you need any help. Have a good day.